going to ask Senator Domenici to come up and say a few words. Senator. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. I think you all know that, uh, that, that there are so many things that I'm grateful for after 36 years of serving. And I think you all know that, uh, that I was told by the best people that could advise me of my health that I shouldn't run again. And that's why I'm not running. I love the job. Uh, I, I leave somebody the job, whoever gets it, uh, and I hope, I hope they perceive that they, that they have a hard job, because I, I hope I left them one. I hope I left them one that uh, will push them pretty hard, that they'll have to work pretty hard and have to do a lot of things. Because I tell you, there are so many great things you can do if you just, if you just participate with the people and, and, and the things of New Mexico and as, as things of the government apply and as business applies to us and just be a player and then love it, you'll succeed in this job. If you don't, you won't. Out there in the audience is a lady named Martha Buttecky. She has an umbrella on her head. I hope you stay, you stay well of the sun. Actually, she was my economic, first economic development helper. And this is the project, the first project we did. And it worked. We had lots of big helpers. Then Governor Jack Campbell helped us. And uh, we were able to put it together in a very large array. And the scientific organizations that were tending to that all knew that we finally had something great here when we got the funding for this building because it was desperately needed if we were going to attract people to use that marvelous facility, which incidentally, when I went to the Senate, I had one science project on a list that said, must support, and it was a very large array, and it was pending before Bill Proxmire's subcommittee of appropriations. That's how long ago it was. Shortly after I was elected, maybe 73, and I went to him without understanding it at all and just said, you must do this for me because I have been told by those who elected me that it is the most important science project that you've got in your entire appropriations. And so he did it and we got things going. Now things like that happen all the time when you're lucky enough to be a, be a senator like you have let me be. But thanks to all of you for the magnificent work you do in leading us in the way of science. We are still the best country in the world, the greatest for science. But we aren't the greatest if we look out 15 years because we don't have enough of our young people excited about science, about math, about physics, about engineers. I was so thrilled today, the two leading, leading talkers that were describing what was going on, the two leading physicists were ladies today. We didn't decide that, they just run it. So I think I think maybe we ought to change our emphasis and try to excite the women of America to become scientists and engineers. They might take up the cause sooner than the men, who knows? Or maybe in bigger numbers. In any event, we are already, said the great scientists back here. Thank you, ladies. I'm, I'm thrilled with you all. Thank you very much. Great to be here. Yeah.